Right, so a few months ago I made a video on someone who I believe to be the worst YouTuber out there. But um, I, I think I may have found someone to compete with him. Allow me to introduce you to Lewis Clark, avid furry and saviour of the homeless. Okay, okay, we'll get on to that later. But the thing that tipped me over the edge into making this video, like, I could have ignored everything I'm going to talk about in today's video if it wasn't for his music, please. Like, I've known about this guy for a while now, and I've chose just not to make a video on him. But I, I saw this on my timeline the other day, and I, I, I just couldn't ignore it. Now, um, th this isn't his only musically. He's uh, a serial offender. I personally consider him a musically star. He goes one, two, three, four. Steady heart goes, I love you more. Oh my god, that lip bite. No, th this is not okay. This is not okay. Who the fuck was he trying to seduce with that? I'm with your kisses. Oh, no, 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 I can't do this. Like, a cringe shockwave just went through my entire body. I, I can't be dealing with this. I just don't know what he was trying to to accomplish with that. Like, did he think because he bit his lip and, like, styled his hair, he'd suddenly have hordes of girls flooding into his DMs? Anyway, let's move on from his music, please. I honestly can't deal with any more of them. And take a look at some more of his great content. Now, I I'm just gonna go on his channel here, and I'm just gonna click a random video, and I, I can guarantee I'm gonna get some content out of it. Right, uh, I stabbed a fan, and I may be going to jail. That, that seems like a good one. Oh my god! Bob, I've stabbed him! Oh! No, you're right! <laughs> what? What was that intro? Okay, so it starts off with him going, oh my god, I, I've stabbed someone. And then a big, like, red warning sign. I, I, I don't know why that's there. Is it, like, warning, watch this video or I'll stab you as well? And then it just cuts to a clip of him kneeling down in bape shorts and a Gucci t-shirt. Like, there's no other purpose for that shot other than to show off his t-shirt and shorts. And it's quite clear he's just put them on for the video. Like, no one, unless you're, like, extremely rich, is just, like, lounging around their room in bape shorts and a Gucci t-shirt. Now, I've just watched... Watched um, a, a few minutes of this video, and I've, I, I've I've no idea what he's on about at this point. Because once you go to jail, yeah, you do more crime. You go into jail, you're the vulnerable one. I won't survive in jail. I'm the hard nut. Do you know what I'm saying? I'll go to jail. Some bloke that's bigger than me will take advantage of that, make me do something that I don't want to do. What are you on about? What does this have to do with the video? You're just rambling about being taken advantage of in prison. I wasn't allowed to make this video at the start because. The police said I'm not allowed, but we've come to some sort of agreement. Yeah, all right, of course you have. Big negotiator, Lewis Clark. I could just imagine him going into the police station like, can I please upload this video? And then the police going, nah, mate, nah, no can do. Oh, mate, I I'll give you a Twitter shout out. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right, go on then. Just for example, I have been banned from any abandoned building in the whole entire world. Whoa, the whole entire world, Lewis. Oh, that's crazy. Like, as if there's just gonna be security guards or, like, some abandoned building in fucking, like, Ukraine. Holding a picture of Lewis Clark, looking out for him, make sure he doesn't come on the premises. Also, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's illegal to go in abandoned buildings anyway. I don't know about you guys, but every abandoned building that I've been to has had, like, a big sign outside that says, don't come in if you come in, you're trespassing or something like that. But obviously, I went in anyway because, like, I I'm solid. It will be plastered in the local papers, etc. Which will it? Hang on, I'm, I'm gonna look this up. Even though I'm, I'm confident this never happens, I'm just gonna look this up anyway. Yeah, nah, there, there's nothing about him here. Like, you probably figured this out on your own, but, like, this whole story and video is just fake. And it's definitely not the first time Lewis has faked video, but we'll get more onto that a bit later. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to give out the location. The police are all over it. It's a forensics crime scene, and I'm not allowed to visit it ever, ever again. Um, if I, I've said this to myself, I don't care who's watching. If the video hits 10,000 likes, I always do things on a like goal, I will go back there somehow, or I'll get someone to go back there, and I'll redocument and make a new video. What? So you just made this video like, oh, I, I might be going to prison. Bigger boys are probably going to take advantage of me, and the police have said, like, I can't go in any abandoned buildings ever. But if this video hits 10,000 likes, I'll go back there. Like, who are the people that actually believe this? You're probably saying no one. No no one surely believes this, but you'd be surprised. That'd be pretty sick. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. 
<laughs> Jesus. That was like some fucking year nine drama shit. Like just walking through a hallway then. Ah! What, what, what even was that? That was like the least enthusiastic jump scare I've ever seen. But I uploaded a video a few weeks after this one called Am I Going to Prison? The Court Date. And I'm very curious as to how this whole thing went. So uh, we're going to give this video a little look. We're going to the court. I'm not telling you where it is. There aren't people out there. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, that's a good idea, Lewis. If you give the name of the court away, there'll be thousands of fans outside, paparazzi. Y you wouldn't be able to move. A couple of weeks ago, I got in contact with a jewellery company. Ah! Look at that! Right, so the theme of the video is like, oh, uh, you, you might not see me again. I, I might be going to prison. And he said it just cuts to like, oh, look, look, look at my sick new chain. Like, what? You could be about to serve life in prison, Lewis. You, you don't seem very nervous. This is going to be supporting me and coming with me to court today. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. You know, if the judge finds you guilty, you could just like flex on them. Call them broke, tell them they're just jealous of you. So, unfortunately, this is what I'm going to court in. Adidas Yeezys. Now, I don't know about you, but if I was a judge and the guy defending himself against like stabbing charges, Charges turned up in a pair of Yeezys. I just sentenced them to life there and then. Like a pair of smart shoes, like aren't even that hard to come by. You could probably get some decent ones for like thirty quid from most shoe shops. Three. Basically, the case was to dismiss because of lack of evidence. Oh, that's a weight taken off my chest, Lewis. I was so worried. How would I go on living without videos like a hater left me a mess? A. Now, as I mentioned earlier. The large majority, if not all of his videos, are completely fake. Like, just watch this clip here for a second. Now, if you turn up the brightness slightly on this clip and zoom in a little bit, you can clearly see someone's hand pulling it away. And, like, this is one of many videos you can prove is fake. But something else he weirdly faked was, like, one of them sticky note pranks. And I think this is a really weird thing to fake because it's, it's not exactly difficult to get a reaction out of this. But anyway, this is the guy he was meant to be pranking. And if you look at the reflection of the car, you can, like, clearly see him. But aside from most of his videos seeming to be fake, he just seems to be all round a bit of a knob. Like, just look at this video he sent to someone on Instagram. Answer me this question. Answer me this really, really quick question, yeah. Have you got more followers than me? No. Have you got a bottle of Ciroc? No. You can't afford it, but... Oh, fuck it. He showed him. He's, he's, he's got a bottle of Ciroc. Are you in a five-star hotel? No. Five-star hotel? It looks like my nan's living room. And there's even been points where he's got angry at his own fans for not showing enough support and uh, uploaded videos to his Instagram story like this. So right now, I'm actual pissed off. I released a video over an hour ago and oh my... What is actually happening? I fucking ruined my own skin with a tattoo for your entertainment and it's done shit. Like, nothing, no good response whatsoever. Like, I've got 57,000 subscribers and a response like 100 likes in an hour is fucking ridiculous. And I'm so pissed off. I can't be bothered anymore. I don't think you realise this, Lewis, but nobody owes you anything. Just because you did some crazy video where you got something tattooed on you doesn't mean you're automatically entitled to views. But he hasn't just done this once. He, he's done this multiple times. Is this some sort of joke? People, I get 11,000 on this Insta story and only 600 of you want to click the link in my bio and support. <laughs> Just unfollow me now. <laughs> How does this guy's mind work? So by Lewis Clark's logic, you should probably get around about the same amount of likes as you have followers. So uh, if this video doesn't get to 2.3 million likes, you're all just fake. Leave now. Actually, please don't. I need to feed my eight kids. But recently, he's gotten into uh, a little bit of a beef with Craig, who I uh, previously did a video on. And uh, he made this video about him and started it off like this. Easy, 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 easy. Oh, Yeezy, Yeezy, I've got a Yeezy and Gucci. Yeah, 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 Craig, Craig, my name's Craig. Yeah, yeah. I just want to know something. How, when making a video on Craig, have you managed to make yourself look like a bigger melt than him? But there's so many things I find funny about this guy. Like, he posted a video called Buying My First Car at 17, and it's just, like, a picture of him standing next to a 2003 Vauxhall course. Like, isn't that, like, a pretty standard thing to do? And he's also got an entire third channel dedicated to vaping. But the fun Funniest thing I've seen from him, hands down, is his feeding the homeless video. Right, so um, y you haven't seen this video yet, have you? No, I haven't. You're in for a treat. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Just a packet is of walkers. Is that a packet of walkers? I love the jammy dodgers, though. Good choice. I love the background music. It's like sadly walking through Sainsbury's. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's just going on a local shop, isn't he? We have everything. Today, I'm going to give some people that have nothing. <laughs> Why is he doing that with his lip? <laughs> Why is he biting his bottom lip? What's he doing that for? Is there a need? He looks he, surprised. He doesn't want to be there. He doesn't want to be there. What's he going to give him? 
bucket and Cameron Dodgers! What a saint. He's, he's better than us, Alex. He's, he's, he's a better person than us. He saved his life there, George. Salt and vinegar is the greatest. But why is it just cut to a clip of him, like, stroking his hair? Like, it's clear he's just made this video, like, about him. It's not about the people in the video, it's about him. It's just funny to watch because he hands somebody a packet of salt and vinegar crisps, you yeah. know? And then after he's done this good deed, he just turns to the camera. Do you reckon he turns to homeless people? He just goes. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks frankly pissed off. He does. <laughs> Goodbye, Lewis Clark. Our hero. The life will never be the same after Lewis. I really hope that he gets his own Marvel movie. I think if you're giving to homeless people and you're recording it, it like automatically undoes like the good deeds. What he's done is like, he's not even decided to get them any proper food I and mean, then he's filmed it and 50% of this video isn't him giving anything to the homeless it's people. It's him! It's just him. <laughs> it's just him. I hope someone in need. Subscribe, Subscribe to, to my news. channel. <laughs> Shake hands George, come on. There we go. Right, but anyway, guys, that is the end of today's video, and I hope you did enjoy. As always, please don't send any hate over to Lewis Clark. It's just really unneeded. Let's try and get this video to 2.3 million likes. But anyway, guys, as I said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and smash that like button.